Hi, everybody. This is Tia Ho from Finding Mindful Now with a two-minute reset. This is Everyday Mindfulness Series, and the topic today is called You in the Ground. And I chose this one based on noticing this week that my fairly sensitive nervous system was feeling like it didn't have much stability and uh, kind of uh, there wasn't a lot of space in my calendar and I was kind of running from thing to thing. And I thought, oh, well, this is familiar. <laughs> This is a lot of my work life right here. Uh, having my own business hasn't seemed to change some of that. So I thought, oh, right. Well, one of the things that can happen um, for a mindfulness practice is that when you use your, your attention, when you intentionally direct your attention into whatever your present moment experience is, you can also notice things about your surrounding that may be different than how you're feeling inside. So in this case, when I notice that I'm on, that my feet are on the ground or that I'm sitting in a chair and that chair is also on the ground, this actually reminds me of stability because my feet are on stable ground. I'm connected to the earth. And because of that, gravity is continually holding me, supporting me at all times. It's gently tugging on me. And that's a really stable force. It's fairly consistent, right? <laughs> no matter where we go or what we do on this planet, gravity is always there, kind of gently holding us um, in connection to the planet. So what's going to happen here is, just like last time, I'm going to walk you through what we're going to do. Uh, and then I'm going to hit a timer and we'll do it together. So just like last time, find a position that feels like a mixture of being relaxed and alert, or awake, if you wanna use a different word. And the way that I like to do that is by imagining that I'm actually a tree, and the trunk of my body is rising up, either from my hips if I'm seated, and then my legs become like the roots into the ground, or if I'm standing, then I imagine my feet kind of being those roots and then uh, the whole body being the trunk. And it's tall and flexible. And then I invite you to set an intention. I had a great question from the last video to clarify this. And to clarify, uh, I don't mean a goal. So we do a lot of goal setting throughout our days, throughout our work weeks, and that's great. And this is, this is slightly different. This is more about you inviting yourself, kind of gifting yourself with a certain um, presence or uh, way of being, for lack of better words. So in this case, like I might say, oh, well, uh, I might set an invitation to myself to feel some of the stability that the ground is offering to me right now. Uh, in this particular invitation. You don't have to use that one. Um, you can do whatever feels ready for, like, good for you, right? So it could be an invitation to just, I'm just going to chill for two minutes, or I'm going to invite myself to take a two-minute breather, or I'm going to invite myself to uh, let my mind rest for just a second. I know that I can come back to whatever the thoughts are that are going through my head. So just play with that. Um, see what comes up for you there. And then after I set my invitation or set or invite myself to set an intention, then I invite in my senses. And what's going to happen is I'm going to direct my attention into my feet, and then I'm going to direct them into my where I'm sitting, where my sits bones are, and then back down to my feet. And then when distractions come up, I'm just going to let those go. I'll acknowledge that they're there. Thank you for sharing, brain. And uh, I go back to my attention just for those whatever these two minutes are. So I'm going to set the two minute timer. Ta-da. So again, oh, I'm noticing that my, my upper body gets really stiff from staring at the computer for a number of hours. And in order for me to feel this combination of alert and relaxed, I had to kind of release some of that in there. And now, because it's a little awkward for me to stare at a lit up computer light, I'm going to close my eyes. You can, you can keep them open. You can keep them closed. You can just kind of lower your gaze 
to wherever you are, but um, keeping them slightly open, whatever feels best. And I'm going to set my intention, and it feels good to take a breath while I do that. Now I'm going to intentionally direct my attention into my feet. And it helps me to close my eyes when I do this. And I'm going to wiggle my toes. And I can just feel the texture of my socks. And then uh, I can feel actually a little bit of the texture of the rug that's underneath my feet. And it feels good to me. So I'm kind of rubbing back and forth. And um, I'm going to and I'll lift my feet up and stretch my ankles a little tiny bit. And then I'm just going to settle into that ground. And I can feel the stability of the ground that's always here. It's just continually holding me up, pulling me with gravity. And there's some, there's some distraction noise. I hope you can't hear it, but I can hear it. So I'm just going to acknowledge it, and then I'm going to go back to taking the flashlight of my awareness. Oh, look, we're already at two minutes. I'm going to give myself another 15 seconds. And then I'm going to focus my attention on my seat. And I can also feel the stability of the chair that I'm sitting in. And it's also gently holding me. It feels good to take another breath. And then I'm going to let my awareness travel back down into my feet. And again, just feeling the stability, that security of that ground and gravity continually there for me. And I'm going to open my eyes. Thanks, everybody. Feel free to take it. You can write a note in the Loom video place, or you can send me an email. I'm happy to answer any questions, and I hope you have a great weekend. And thanks for tuning in and giving yourself some practice. I'll talk to you later.